Welcome back to the Swing Clinic. We're here at Greyhawk Golf Club in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, and we have a special guest with us. This guy actually spends a little time here at Greyhawk teaching. He is one of the number one short game gurus in the world. He's top 50 teachers in America, and the guy has the PGA Tour record for the least amount of putt in nine holes. Stan Utley. Stan, good to meet you. Thanks for having me on, I Jimmy. want that story about the putts before it's all over with. I don't understand six putts in nine holes. That just doesn't comprehend, but I'm sure there's a good story I think that it. record's safe. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe, for sure. Because it wasn't pretty. All right, so let's talk about putting a little bit. We're here to talk about the, uh, the Orange Whip putter. It's something that you've used in your teaching. Uh, you've been an ambassador for Orange Whip for a long time. Uh, talk to me why this aid you know, can help people their putting strokes. I mean, there's nobody that knows the putting stroke better than you. Well, when I'm looking at a, a student, one of the things that is important about what I look at, besides the fact that I'm looking at, you know, can he grip it good? Does yeah. his stance balanced? Is he on line? Is I look at the sequence of his stroke. And the Orange Whip putter, just like the Orange Whip training aid, this shaft is soft enough that you can begin to feel the load and unload of the shaft as you swing through the shot. Okay. Even with a putt, people wouldn't think that the shaft loads and unloads with a putt. Right. But I believe it does in order to allow proper sequence. Is tempo, a, I know everybody talks about tempo in a full swing, is tempo a good word when it comes to putting and, and using this device? Te tempo is a good word because that has to do in my, in my terminology with time. Okay. And time means how long does it take from when the putter starts back till the putter hits the ball. Okay. But with this device, because People tend to accelerate what I say the wrong end. So I ask people a, a common question is, what would you tell your friend if you were giving them a lesson about how to make a stroke? Right. A lot of things I get is use your shoulders, don't use your wrist. Right. And people overdo those concepts and their shoulders end up moving bigger and faster than the club head. Right. And as sequence, when I mean sequence, I mean from the putter head up, things move less. Right. And you can feel that with the orange whip putter. If I roll this putter, you can see that the counterbalance ball on the top of the grip, it really doesn't go very far. But I see people that move their body and move their body, and they actually have the shaft back loaded at impact, okay. which means a good shot, the shaft unloads before you hit the ball. It's not leaned backwards before you hit the ball. So good putters, the head is going to move more than the butt of the than club. The grip. Love it. It Love swings it. faster and bigger than the grip. With the orange whip putter, you can feel the sequence and the rhythm of that. I would say one of the greatest advantages of if I putt over to the fringe, everybody tends to lag putt better with the orange whip putter right? because they can feel the rhythm of the head swing with the shaft. And so it gives great feedback and it allows people to find their true sequence and deliver better energy on the ball with less effort. And now you have also worked with Orange Whip to help them develop a wedge. I mean, a big part of your teaching and what you've helped a lot of tour pros with is around the greens. And as many average players need that more than tour players, of course. So let's take a walk over here. I want you to show me kind of the same concept with a wedge. Okay, All sounds right? good. Yeah. Coming up after the break, Stan Utley with the Orange Whip. This segment of the Swing Clinic is brought to you by the Orange Whip Putter. If you have the yips, we've got the whips. You've got a feeling. So Stan, how did you get into becoming kind of a, I know you're, you teach everything, but obviously your specialty short game. What, what drew you to that? Just because you were so good at it or just because you felt like you understood I, it a little I, better? I think the, the fact is when I was a kid, I had a great mentor. His name was Mr. Lanning. Okay. And he shared his other friends that were great players. They were amateur golfers, they were not pros, but they shared such great short game technique with me that it became natural quick because right. I believe it was the right method. Right. And turns out I, I turned to golf because I'm not very fast, can't jump very high, and <laughs> that led to my basketball playing didn't work out. <laughs> but uh, I don't hit it that far, so yeah. my short game was a necessity to become a good pro player. Talk to me a little bit about this product. Now, you helped design this product with Jim Hackenberg. It's the Orange Whip Wedge. It's kind of your specialty in teaching around the greens. You're obviously known as one of the best in the world. Why does this product work like the putter does? Well, when Jim actually came for a lesson and brought me a putter and I started teaching with the putter and I loved it so much, I kept thinking, wow, if I just had a, a wedge on the end of this putter, yep. eventually we partnered to create this product, the Orange Whip Wedge. 
and it allows me to have more than just my words when I'm giving a lesson. Okay. It, it, it's such an exaggerated feel of bad and good that sometimes once people start using it, they, they hear my message better, they catch on better, and then it makes the overall ability to improve their chipping and pitching go faster. Show me a little bit of how it works. Well, when, when I'm hitting a chip shot, I'm trying to swing the club head and not really swing the grip very much. So it just, it uses the leverage of the club head to actually unload the club and do the work for me. And I ask my students, I say, when you swing poorly, do you think you release the head too early or too late? Most people don't know, but usually people's problem stems from the fact that they accelerate the grip. What that does is it backloads the head and makes the head get closer to them instead of farther away, right. which leads to the dip. And so if I can get them to understand that I'm trying to turn back and on the way through, my arm actually decelerates. When my arm decelerates, the club head does it for me and it'll just shoot the head down the plane line and pitch the ball nicely out to the green for me. I could kind of tell you like the putter and the wedge a lot because you can hit shots with it, huh? It gives you instant feedback and you're such a feel guy. Uh, that's an advantage with a student, isn't it? And, and it helps my student greatly yeah. to see the results. Yeah. They, they're always judging themselves. Having the putter and the wedge lets them see it happen. And then when they go back to their regular club, yep. then they can have the same feel of letting the club head unload from their wrist, just like they felt like the shaft of the orange whip unload. Then it just pitches out there nicely. Their short game improves. And I like to say, the better you chip it, the better you putt it. <laughs> That's exactly right. Stan, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. It's an honor to have you on the show. Orange Whip products are, are great, Jim Hackenberg. And again, with you helping him with this wedge, it's, it's, it's a great product, and I think it's gonna be as successful as the Orange Whip. Thanks for having me on the show.